Hey, Cameron McKenzie here at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter. I wanted to talk to you about web scraping and follow the links that you scrape. I've done a little web scraping tutorial before and a lot of people ask me, hey, you know, you've got a lot of links on that page. What about following those links and scraping data on the subsequent page? That's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pick up from where I left off on a previous tutorial, but go one step deeper and start extracting data from sublinks on a page. So like always, I'll start this off by creating a new process and I'll call it Best Buy Screen Scraper because I've got some stuff I wanna buy over at Best Buy. I've been looking for a watch. I'm really looking for a discount on a Garmin watch. Really love Garmin's. And I'm looking for one that's on sale and specifically it has to be a Garmin watch. And you can see this is a list of all the Garmin watches on sale over at Best Buy. And I like to sort them by price as well from high to low I like to dream of having a, a phoenix 6s anyways i'd like to automate kind of scraping this page and gathering all this data so that i don't have to go to the page every single day that the page will come to me maybe through an email and so the way you do that is through screen scraping watch this i'm going to copy the url that's up here and then i'm going to come to uipath open the main workflow window and say you know what i want to do some data scraping so i click data scraping the tool comes up and it says, okay, what do you want to scrape? And I want to grab all of the information here about all these Garmin watches that are for sale. I'd like to, you know, maybe run this once a day and then see if there's any new items for sale. And so you highlight, well, I want to highlight the whole range here that encompasses an entire watch, the price, the, the link, the image. And then it says, okay, well, you've, there's the start one what does the finish item look like in this list? And there's the finish one right there. I'll click next. And I'll try and highlight the same amount of data for the finish one. And it'll say, fantastic, we've got these two columns here. And uh, I guess I'll call the uh, first column Garmin item and the second column the URL. And then the other thing I can do is I can extract maybe some extra data. And you can see there the list of the Garmin items are being pulled out there, all the information that's really important. And over on the right-hand side, it's the URL to get to the item. But really what I'm interested in is the price, right? I want to know if there's been any price drop or any price change. So you can also click this extract correlated data. And so you can kind of go dig deeper inside of the, inside of the web page, inside of the item. And the item that I really want is I want that, that price, right? I want to keep track of, of what the price of these items are. I want you to pick it in the first one and then pick the corresponding one in the second one corresponding location. There's the price right there. And then it's figured all of that stuff out. And then I'll say that's the sale price. I'll click the next button. And then you can see that the, the whole data from this page has now been extracted into this data table. So I think that I'm finished here. I've got the, the product. I've got all of the information on it. Identify the element that navigates the next pages. Well, there's no next page here because sometimes you might have a pagination, right? Like click this button for more, go to page two. Um, there's none of that there. That's all the items on the page. So I don't need to indicate any pagination there. And then from here, this is gonna extract all of that data. It's all get put into a data table called extract data table. And if I wanna gain access to that information, well, I could just write that to an Excel file. I could send the data in an email. I think for right now, it'd just be nice to loop through that data and take a look at it. And so the for each row activity will allow you to do this. Don't pick the for each activity, very different. Uh, it won't cast the object into a row and it'll cause problems. Here I want to use the for each row activity and say, you know, for each row, well, let's just extract some data for it. So I'll do some right line here. And in this case, I can get row at zero dot two string. And then maybe just, well, I've got three rows here, so I'll take all three. And of course, instead of row zero, I'll do row one and I'll do row two. And I'm gonna run this application. Make sure that, well, first of all, I'll make sure that there's no errors. Yeah, it looks like, all, like it's all good. And I will run this application and you will see it's gonna go onto that page, and do a little bit of scraping. And then finally here in this console, 
you'll see all of the information that I wanted, the name of the product and all the details, plus the sale price for the item, plus the URL, all of that comes nice and handsomely onto the page. Now imagine I wanted to take this example one step further. Remember, row one here is actually the URL that we get from the page. Well, what if I actually wanted to open up every single URL here? How could I do it? Well, to open up every single URL inside of this loop, it's just as, an easy, as easy as selecting the Open Browser option. So I'll move that right down here, Open Browser. And the URL is just going to be http colon www dot bestbuy dot ca. That was the root, and then the URL started slash en dash ca, and that was all in row one. And so this will open up the browser. Now let's imagine we want to actually get some text out of the page that provides more information on each watch that's for sale. And so what we would do is we would go and look for the get text option right there, right there after opening the browser. And then, you know, for each watch that we have, let's take a look at this watch. There's an overview section with extra detail. So what we could do is maybe open up each individual item and get this extra information that wasn't on the original landing page. And so how do we do that? Well, we go back to UiPath and we say get text and indicate element inside the browser. And so I'll just select that element there. Now I've got to assign that a variable name. And so I've set up a variable here called text. It's not too creative, but I'll have the results there go into text. And then after pulling that data out on the page, why don't I just write it to the console here? And so I'll just do write the text out. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to get rid of some of the other write lines above. So now we'll just have the URL and then the details of that page. So it's not all cluttered up. And then that's how you can actually go and loop through every URL, right? So this get structured data, this get the screen scraping example pulls information about the the basics of the watch like its name its price and the url for more details now we've gone in opened up that url and got more specific details about the individual watch okay i'm going to click save and then i'm going to give this a run make sure gar make sure this web page is on the start page as it was before and then click run and individual pages are now opening up in my browser. And once all of the individual pages have been opened up, notice it's now printing out not just the information from the original page, but it's actually printing out all of the detailed information as well from the individual URL. So again, this is the original page that lists item. I've got it reduced down to three here because I didn't want to have to loop through a thousand, otherwise you'd be waiting here for an hour. But you can see this is the information about the watch, the link to more details, and then the price here. That's what we got originally. Then we opened up each of those three links. And then for each of them, we got these specific details. So you see take charge there, you see maximize your health there and then on this third page you see achieve your goals and when we look at what was printed out here you see take charge maximize your health and achieve your goals so you see that information is now being printed out as we open up every single individual link that was garnered from the original page scraping so there you go that's everything you need to know about following links when you've scraped a page and scraping one step deeper and if you want to go even deeper than that you can just iterate through that whole process there anyways if you enjoyed that tutorial why don't you head over to the serverside.com i'm the editor-in-chief over there we got lots of great articles and tutorials on enterprise software development if you're interested in my personal antics follow me on twitter at cameron mcnz and follow on youtube